friends, today we're going to play the rock, paper, scissors game. So you're going to need to find a partner. There are two detail lists for you to choose from. So once you have a partner, decide if you're going to play rock, paper, scissors, Picasso or rock, paper, scissors, monsters. Today, I'll be playing rock, paper, scissors, monsters. And play a game of rock, paper, scissors. You ready? Charlotte's not quite old enough for rock, paper, scissors, so I found this app to play rock, paper, scissors on my phone. Paper covers rock. I win! <laughs> Each round on the list tells you a different detail to include in your drawing. Round number one for rock, paper, scissors monsters is the body. Since I won and I'm playing rock, paper, scissors monster, then the first <laughs> The first thing I need to draw is a round <laughs> Round number two, the eyes. All right, let's play again. Rock, paper, scissors. Uh, scissors cut paper, I win again. That means my monster gets one eye. Let's see. I think I'll put it right here. Yay! Round three, the mouth. Scissors cut paper, I lose. That means my monster is going to have a silly mouth. Mm. That looks pretty silly. I'm gonna keep playing for the rest of my details. Rounds four and five include the arms and hair. Here's what I have so far. Now I need to add a few details of my own. Let's see, what is my monster missing? I thought about some of my missing details like a nose and feet and whiskers and I added other things that I thought were needed. The last step is to color. Charlotte helped me to finish coloring my monster and this is how it turned out. I hope you have a lot of fun playing this game and come up with some really creative ideas. To create an abstract face like Pablo Picasso, try again playing the rock, paper, scissors, Picasso game. Mouth, <laughs> <laughs>